Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the AC Milan Career Mode here on Xbox One. You guys went ham again with yesterday's video, so thank you very much for that. Plenty of likes, loads more suggestions as well. Now we looked into some of the suggestions in this video, and you'll be able to see that throughout the uh, the entirety of, of this video. We've got a couple of friendlies in this one as well, so we've got some gameplay in there, not just some uh, some transfer action. But we are bringing more players in today. So uh, Luciano Vieto is a player that three or four of you suggested, so I'm looking into perhaps bringing him in, a young striker that does have a lot of potential do want a wide option as well if possible because uh, Honda and Kaka I'm kind of playing Honda out wide at the minute because of course Niang is out on loan so I do want one more wide option I'm looking at Senad Yul, uh, Lulic the, uh, he's Bosnian I think uh, left mid can work uh, both ways as a left mid and a left back he's quite good at, uh, at a defensive role as well so looking into him sending out a few of the youngsters out on loan as well just to give them some first team experience because they won't be playing for me in the first team or even in a rotation side this year because they're just not quite good enough which is kind of the story of the entire squad right now at AC Milan. It's a squad of either has-beens or up-and-comings. There's not really a lot of pure quality throughout the spine of the squad apart from the likes of uh, of Mario Balotelli etc. So uh, we are looking to strengthen everywhere which is of course what we've said throughout this uh, this career mode so far and that is exactly what we're trying to do. But we've got another friendly against Levante here. The first friendly yesterday was against Fulham and we drew that nil-nil. We had a few opportunities but we weren't necessarily as incisive in front of goal as I potentially may have liked us to be. And you can see there Kazuki Honda with the, uh, the first chance. Well saved. A bit disappointed that he took on his right not his left but Balotelli tried with his stronger foot there outside of the boot and it was a great deflection from the uh, from the defender did really well to uh, to get in the way of that one and unfortunately Kaka and Balo got in each other's way as they went up for that header so we went in a half time at nil nil and I tried that 4-3-3 formation that I said I was going to with a two CMs and one cam and it really wasn't working that well so we tried the same formation that we had at Atletico with uh, a flat 4-4-2 with two holding mids and then uh, you know your stereotypical two wide men two players up top with El Shirawi along side Mario Balotelli and uh, it worked a little bit better second half as you can see El Shari having the uh, the first effort of the second half there and then Mario is very very lazy so he I really need him to get some support, whether it's with man alongside him or if we're playing a 4-2-3-1 with two people or the three people behind him really pushing on. But Mario was the man that made the difference in the second half here. So you can see just before the end of the game, 89th minute, a really well-taken goal. We'll see a replay or two of that as well. Really nice ball through over the top, brought it down well and then a powerful finish across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner. Have the replay come up here. Good ball in. I think that's Abate playing the ball into him. Great uh, first touch to set it up beautifully for the shot into the bottom corner and that's how that game finished so a, a draw in the first friendly with no goals and a win in this one with a 1-0 win so two clean sheets as well which is uh, kind of crucial it's nice to uh, to be being strong defensively even if we aren't being necessarily a threat going forward but we had the first offer for uh, Lulic rejected so we're going back for him Abel Hernandez the offer's been accepted but I'm uh, I'm offering a contract but I'm not too sure whether I'm going to let him uh, him join the side. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that because I am a little bit more keen on Alexander Lacazette, as you can see here. Having uh, or putting a bid in of five and a half, I think I go for in this particular instance. We'll see if that gets accepted. I am, of course, looking at the Vieto guy that you guys suggested. We're looking at Hesse as well. Also looking at Alberto Pelosi. I'm going to try and uh, throw in uh, Amelia, the uh, the elderly go elderly. He's not elderly, he's just older. The uh, the older goalkeeper that we have that we're not going to use because, of course, we've got Guita and Abiati as our two goalkeepers for this first season. So hopefully we can bring in Pelosi as well. I looked at his potential. He does look like quite a strong signing and a couple of you guys suggested him as well. And he was a player that I'd already had my eye on. So that kind of uh, solidified it or cemented it in my mind that I was going to go and get him if I possibly could. But before we get any, uh, you know, concrete... Uh, progression in any of the uh, of the transfer dealings we're trying to bring in. We've got another friendly back to back with uh, with this one just two or three days after the first or the second technically, but the first one of this episode. And it's at home against Gwingom. And I changed to a four two three one, which we used in the first game against Fulham. But this time I used the tactics that we used at Chelsea, which is a lot more attacking. Remember in the Chelsea career mode we struggled to start off with, and then I had to fiddle around with the tactics, and we found ourselves being a lot more offensive and a lot more successful in an attacking sense. So we got off to a great start here. Ballo misses his header, throws himself on the ground. But Sully Montari, one of the midfield players, pushing on, giving support to Ballo, which is what I said I wanted. 
wanted and uh, getting on the end of the cross to put us 1-0 up and we're actually going to have another opportunity here Adel Tarapt picks the ball up out wide gets a little bit fortunate, fortunate with this McGeady spin the ball defects black swim off the defender but still does very very well to, uh, to end up with the ball into the back of the net a tidy finish through the defender's legs into the bottom corner we take an early 2-0 lead which is uh, definitely what I was wanting from this side with the new tactics maybe it's something that we might be able to, uh, to see long term be a little bit more successful than any other formation stick with the 4-2-3-1 which we've got players to fit around which is uh, good but uh, into the second half we concede our first goal of the uh, of the preseason as a whole unfortunately they bring it back to 2-1 and much like us where we scored two goals quite quickly at the beginning of the first half they were going to score two goals quite quickly at the beginning of the second and I was really disappointed with Christian Zapata here he really should be winning that header and getting the ball clear and I was quite annoyed that uh, he wasn't able to hold off the the advances from their striker and keep the ball out you'll see from the replay their uh, their guy just kind of gets on his shoulder and Zapata just doesn't jump with any real conviction towards the ball just kind of waits for the ball to come to him and uh, unfortunately we end that game with a 2-2 draw so we're still unbeaten for the entirety of pre-season but we don't have our clean sheet record all the way through so two draws and a win from pre-season is positive but not necessarily as positive as we might like so we still need some more stuff to go down in the transfer window Abel Hernandez has accepted the contract offer but we're holding out on that deal because I want to make sure I want to see what happens with the other attacking options we're looking at Senad Lulic again had the offer rejected for him so we go back in with a 7.3 and uh, we've had an offer uh, accepted for Lacazette. You'll see this coming up on your screen just now. That £6.5 million offer was accepted. So we're going to throw in a contract for Lacazette. He's got a lot of potential. A few people have suggested him in previous career modes and I haven't gone with him, but he is one of the uh, one of the go-to strikers, I do believe, for uh, you know, when starting out a career mode. So we'll see if we can bring him in and see what he does with the uh, with the contract offer. They turned down my £4 million bid for uh, Luciano Vieto and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to bring him in on a permanent. So we'll try and get him on loan if we possibly can. Hesse, they rejected bids as well. So I'm going to offer seven and a half, I think I went with, or seven. Seven this time around for Hesse, although it's on the the, uh, the updated squads. If it was on the default squads, then we would have got him quite cheap. But because it's been, uh, you know, the default squads, he's been upgraded and he's now got a higher importance at, uh, at Real Madrid. He uh, he doesn't want to, or they aren't accepting a bid for him. And talking of higher importance, I had to re-offer Alexander uh, Lacazette a contract there. He didn't want to be a squad rotation player. He wanted to be an important first team player, or at least on his contract. So uh, that's what we offered him. Hopefully he'll accept that. We had a, another bid rejected for Lulic, and we, uh, we throw in an £8 million bid. As you can see, Lacazette has accepted, so we will accept that bid, and the Abel Hernandez deal has fallen through, so we won't be bringing in the uh, the guy from Palermo, but we are offering a contract to Alberto Polossi. Of course, we'll be losing Amelia, the uh, the older goalkeeper, with this deal, but that's something I'm not too fussed about. Uh, Polossi has a lot of potential. We can go up to around an 82, 83 at least, and uh, he's only 23 years old. Decent strength, decent pace, good first touch, good finish, so uh, hopefully he can do the business for us if he comes in. And then uh, Philip Mexes is... Unfortunately, surplus to requirements. I do like Mexes, but uh, we've got a couple of good centre-backs we've brought in, including uh, um, Victor Ruiz from Valencia. So hoping to bring in Umtiti as well, if I possibly can. Perhaps that might be a loan deal. And uh, as you can see, we've had the offer accepted for Senad Lulitz as well. £8 million pounds will offer him a contract. And uh, hopefully he and El Sharawi can uh, beat our two main forces out wide in this team, playing that 4-2-3-1. So uh, Lulitz comes in, that's another signing. Left mid, 27 years old, still some decent potential. And we're going to confirm the offer for um, Alberto Polossi as well. Accepting this after fiddling with the uh, the transfer budget to make sure we had enough money to, uh, to, uh, to make sure it went through. And Emilia goes out. So this is the squad that we have at present. Present, heading into the first game of the season in the next episode. Guita in goal, Decilio, Zapata, Rami and Constant. Although I may switch Decilio to left back and put Abate at right back. I'm not entirely too sure. The minute I've got Montelieva and Polly at holding. Although Nigel De Jong did very, very well in the second friendly. So uh, he may find himself in the starting lineup. We've got El Sharawi, um, Honda and, uh, and Lulic as the midfield three with Balotelli up top. Lacazette on the bench as well as uh, Rubinho and Polossi down there in the reserves are 
attacking options. Kaká finds himself on the bench as well, although he will be involved with a lot of the rotation that goes down. But we'll have a quick look at uh, at the the trans not the transfer window at the calendar. Uh, as you can see, there is just over a week left of the transfer window. We've got Cagliari at home. It's the uh, the season starts really late, and then as you can see, we have to wait another two weeks till we get another game. So uh, it's going to be a slow start to this season. But that's going to bring this episode to a close. So if you did enjoy, guys, please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. I've got a little bit of money left. If I can get a couple of loan deals done, then uh, that's definitely something I'm looking to do. But that's going to bring this one to a close. So feel free to follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Subscribe if you haven't. There's a link on screen on the left hand side and a link in the description to do so and if you missed yesterday's video there will be a link on uh, on the screen as well on that right hand side and there was a my player episode go up last night as well so if you missed that feel free to check the channel page but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time